liking this fresh grass. When you come home, think you're going to have just a normal afternoon and dogs out. He's such a good guy. I would put him on the back, but he doesn't like to ride and he'll just jump off and I'm afraid he'll get hurt. So I'm just going to take my time and walk him down there. Come on, let's go. Come on, don't stub up now. Let's go. Walking one dog. And I got the farm dog over here. He's riding like he owns the place. Is that right, Cash? Right, I got another place that crosses the creek up here that I cleaned up Saturday. We'll go look at it, see if it's good enough. If it is, we'll come put a new battery on. I'm gonna let the goats into the new pasture and off of this pasture they've been on about all winter. So I've got a couple of uh, Temporary post that I'm going to try to put in here and see if we can pull this down a little bit. Uh, I really need to come back in and put some temporary and I'll do that. charger and just sort of test the fence and see what kind of power we got on it. So. 
going to hook my solar panel up to my battery. Now I need to hook my fencer to the battery. So the battery powers the fencer and the solar panel keeps the battery charged. If you haven't seen the video on how to install a solar panel, I'll leave a card right up here behind me and you can watch that. So we're running 5.3 and that's really good. 5.3, that's right off of the charger. So now let's walk over to where the fence terminates and see if we're running close to the same thing. I hope we are. Usually have a little bit of depreciation on that charge. Not a lot. 5.1, 5.2. So not very much difference. That's amazing. That means my work was good. I got everything, I got everything cleaned off well of my fence Saturday. So that they can, uh, so that it'll circulate the charge now. So let's go get a roll of hay. We'll put it in this new pasture. Then we'll get some feed and call them over and then give them this half of the field, which hasn't had anybody on it this winter. So it's nice and clean. Uh, should be in good shape. There's still quite a bit of grass left in here. And it's starting to green up as well, so. Field dirt put in here. Been trying to fill out some ruts from uh, that run down through the pasture. So what I'm going to do, you can see some of these holes down here uh, where there's kind of some underground spring stuff going. So I'm going to drop a roll of hay right in here. I think where this big hole's at, and that'll actually help this erosion problem in the pasture. But I think if I put this roll of hay in here, it'll help him and it'll give me a good spot to feed in too. this fresh grass over here come on let's go Woo! come on kids let's go all the kids don't really know what to do I've really got a nice kid crop this year I feel like they're doing really good growing really well I tell you what this buck right here is growing like crazy he's a monster I don't know what he weighs. I need to get my scale home and fix it. Found the hay. Mama, you gonna give us your babies? Should be any time your udder's all swollen up. Come on, let's go!
I'm not thinking I'll get that side of the fence cut off tonight, but I've got them open to it. I think they'll use this area really good. And then tomorrow I'll show you finishing up, hopefully finishing up that set of temporary wire across to cut that field off. So let's take, first off we'll take a bucket of feed up, put in the creek feeder. Look out. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. I do creep feed some of my younger goats, commercial and my registered, either one. According to the weight gain and the amount of feed you have to feed to get them, those extra pounds before the auction, you can pencil it out and make, a, make it show a profit. And I actually learned that from watching a Greg Christensen who is totally commercial. So number one, it gives my, gives my commercial herd some extra weight for the sale. And number two, it actually helps my registered herd to get to their genetic potential, I guess I should say. And uh, it'll help them sell better too, if they can reach that potential. Have y'all seen, have y'all seen the bottle baby? Yeah, I don't like doing that, but we've got one. She is a little stinker. All right, so let's get her bottle, get her fed. Come here, Ginger. Come here. Off, so mom has bought her a trip to the freezer camp. Forget to do that. If you guys need feed pans, don't go from one and all that. This is a Lowe's pan. It's used to mix small amounts of cement in. It's a cement mixing pan. Seven dollars each. Hey, they make great feed feed buckets. They're kind of long and short. They don't get tipped over as easy. Let's go feed Drac. Come on, Drac. Alright, right, let's go put out the feed for herd. Got about 20-ish, around 20 mamas. And I give them a full bucket of feed, which is about 25 pounds, so about one pound per head. Okay, so we've got all the chores done for the day. Of 
course we started off with extra we didn't know we was going to have to do the Drax was out our guardian dog was out we had a goat stuck in the fence uh, so it's been a crazy afternoon but that's the way it goes no harm no foul nobody's really hurt no big deal you just go to expect those things it just makes my day to come down and watch all these babies run and play that are they're really growing right now the mamas of course are, are doing well they're holding weight and condition well even though they're uh, nursing kids guys thanks for watching we appreciate you coming along with us we hope you enjoy the farming as much as we do so until next time we'll see you guys and we'll do it all again tomorrow